Yeah, so I just want to show you all a little problem we had last summer. We went to go use our plucker, um, so it was time to process our chickens and learn a lesson. You're supposed to check your plucker at least a few days ahead of time because we had no clue that it wasn't working. Um, turned it on and it buzzed, nothing. Um, we ended up, uh, we replaced the um, the actual switch. We replaced the switch because it was corroded with water. Thought I had it. No. Um, inside this box you have a, a, I believe it's called a capacitor, like a starting capacitor. Um, it was full of water. We ended up replacing, <clears throat> replacing that. Um, hoping that would, you know, get it to start since it was buzzing, the motor was. Um, still didn't work. Um, it had a relay in there that was also full of water. Um, it didn't fix it either. Um, I mean, every time we put this away, you know, I'd blow it off with my gas blower. Um, we put it in a shed, which is, you know, uh, on the side of the house. You know, it's a, it's a closed up shed with no windows. So, I don't think I'm going to be keeping it in the shed anymore. Um, just, I think the humidity is too high in there and any little bit of water that got inside that motor was never able to dry out. Um, and you've probably never priced out a motor for one of these and they are very expensive. I mean, the whole plucker costs like, uh, maybe what, $500, 400, I think it was 450 when I first bought it. It was back in like 2020. Um, we got tired of plucking by hand and, uh, the motor itself now is $300 from Artisan and uh, Yardbird. So, yeah, so water got in. I don't think it got through here. I actually think it may have gotten into the motor. I don't know. It had to have gotten in here also, though, because this is sealed off from this. Um, I mean, it was just full of water. I just, I didn't want to throw any more parts at it. Um, uh, I, I pr practically replaced, you know, I replaced the breaker too because it was corroded with water. Um, anyways, so now we have a new, brand new motor, um, all new switches. Um, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some, uh, window door, you know, latex caulk with silicone. And I'm actually going to go across all of the seams that I can see, like right here. I'm going to do some around this switch right here. Um, I'm going to go to the other side of the switch on right there. And I'm going to talk around it as best as possible. Although this time I'm going to store it differently. Because um, obviously you're not supposed to store it in a high humid or high humidity place. Uh, that's what took it out. Uh, so... Just some thoughts for all y'all, especially, you know, if you got a expensive plucker like this, you know, take my <laughs> heed warning, heed my warning and uh, take good care of it, you know. Don't leave it in a high humidity place. I mean, I know it looks nasty, but it's hard to clean this without completely taking the plucker apart, like taking the motor out. You can't get all these little feathers out. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I don't really think it was caused by me i think mainly it just needs to be sealed up better um which i'm gonna put some like caulking and like the screw holes on the new one i'm gonna put some there but the main thing too is i'm gonna blow it off really good with like compressed air um so anyways um you have any questions about pluckers or or i mean my review on this one is we really like it um it's I've used, I've had to borrow pluckers from friends, um, from other brands, and this one outperforms it, I mean, just completely, 100% is better, um, mainly because the size, it fits a turkey in here, like a large turkey, um, it's got extra big fingers on the top and the bottom, some of the cheaper ones has little fingers and less of them, and it really makes a huge difference. Um, so anyways, if you uh, like the video, uh, comment if you want and, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.